for the Wolf Weekly Vlog, Espresso Fundamentals. Today we're looking at part B of the methodology for pulling shots. What we're going to today, do today is to really focus in on how to tamp correctly. Tamping is absolutely critical to creating a good espresso. What we want to make sure is that we're tamping flatly, evenly and consistently. If we have inconsistent pressure, your shots will go faster or slower. If we have an uneven tamp, they can channel just like when we talked about with distribution. If our tamper goes in at an angle, you have more compact areas and less compact areas, and the water is going to channel through the less compact areas. It'll drop out one side before the other, and you'll have an unevenly extracted shot, which is not what we want to be achieving. So that's why tamping is critical. Righty, so we're going to quickly go over part A, and then we're gonna slow down and break down the tamp. So remembering that we release our porter filter we purge immediately, we clean and dry our basket, and then we wipe our drip tray. Next, we're dosing. One tap to settle, distributing, and it's time to tamp. When it comes to tamping, uh, we want to make sure our tamper is nice and clean. If it has any moisture on it, it's going to pick up the coffee bed. If it has any coffee on the side, it's going to jam and your basket will come out with your tamper. I like right angles when I'm tamping. You can tamp this way if you'd like. I prefer to have my hip perpendicular to the bench. So what I'm going to do is rest the porter filter there. So making sure we put our pressure on the base here, not on the weaker parts of the porter filter. So that goes down. When I grip, the way I like to do it, and it's totally up to you what feels comfortable as long as it's flat and consistent, is I treat the basket as points of a compass. So I have north, south, east and west, and I want to make sure it's flat, north to south and east to west. So I'm grabbing my tamper like this. I've got small hands, so I go over the top. I don't just grip like that, I have less control. I go here and that way I can feel with my fingers that I'm coming down flat into the basket. So I'm going to press down evenly and firmly at north and south and then at east and west. And if I look at that, my tamper is sitting completely evenly in the basket. Now, if you're using one like this, which is a 58.4, uh, it's quite snug to the basket. What will happen if I just quickly rip this off is it's going to create cracks around the side and that's going to channel your shot. You're going to have a dud, nasty shot. So what we want to do is just gently pull it out. You can see it's come out without any coffee and my bed of coffee is nice and snug to the sides. What you can get quite often is a little bit of grit around the sides and we don't want this going up into the espresso machine. So in one motion, and you can do this on your way to the espresso machine as part of your flow, just wipe down. I insert and I immediately start the shot. You've got four or five seconds before the espresso starts dripping and that's four or five seconds of service time that you can save if you grab your cups afterwards. Sounds very simple, but it is one of those easy things that will speed you up. After that, your shot's, your shot's going, you're monitoring it, and everything's good. We'll see you next time.